we're gonna be disassembling an Xbox One S. We're gonna be disassembling it down to the motherboard, so we're gonna be taking everything apart. So if you're doing a repair, this video is gonna be helpful because uh, we're gonna be going through everything in this Xbox One S. You're gonna need our Fastech Pro Toolkit to disassemble your Xbox. We saw this on the website. Links are gonna be in the description box. You can use the coupon code YouTube for a discount. To take this Xbox apart, we're gonna flip it over at the back. All right, there's gonna be a sticker on the right side here. We're gonna remove this sticker with a knife. If you're looking for a knife, we also sell these on our website. In some countries, this is the warranty sticker. So if you're removing this, know that if you have any warranty, you will lose it. But at the time I'm making this video in 2021, this 2017 Xbox One S does not have a warranty. You're gonna remove the adhesive first. There's tape here. We're gonna remove that. And then there's gonna be adhesive around this tab. You can run your blade. You can run your knife through here just to get that off. Then we're gonna stick our knife in here and gently lift up the plate away. All right, now that we've gotten this clip off, now we're gonna stick the knife in the side here. And we're just gonna pry the bottom, the bottom part of the case off like that. And then you're gonna hear the clip disengage. There's a couple of more here and a few more here. And now we're just gonna lift it up and it's gonna come right up. And we're gonna be removing all the screws. These are T10s. Uh, we sell the screwdriver on our website and I would recommend our Fastech Pro Toolkit, which includes not only the T8, T10 that you need, but all other kinds of bits that you can disassemble all other kinds of electronics with, including iPhones, laptops, you name it. It even has bits you can open up McDonald's toys with. So sky's the limit. Check out the links in the description. And you can use the coupon code YouTube for a discount. We're gonna remove these screws. that hold the heat sink in, we're gonna need a T8. screws removed we're gonna get the console like that we're gonna look at the back and we're gonna take the case off by lifting up the sides and then just lifting up lifting it up like that and that's gonna come off now we're gonna lift this part of the case off it's gonna come off we're gonna remove the front on and off button and the RF board, we're gonna remove these Torx T8 screws that hold it in. If 
Xbox One doesn't turn on. Most of the times it's the power supply. Sometimes it's the motherboard. Even less frequently, it's this, which is the RF board and front power button. It also has the jack button on it and the sync button. It also has an RF receiver. Now we're gonna lift the board out like that. That's gonna come off. Next, we're gonna remove the network card on the side. This is the network adapter, also the Bluetooth chip. If your Xbox is not connecting to Wi-Fi anymore, if Wi-Fi connections don't show up at all, or if your controller drops signal, but it connects fine to other Xboxes, you need to replace this. We're gonna remove the network chip by removing the T8 screws that hold it in. Next, we're gonna remove the hard drive. We're gonna lift it out. There's two cables underneath the power cable. We're gonna remove that and the SATA cable. We're both, they're both, we're gonna be able to pull them out both. If you're getting the E105, 106, or even E101 errors, or if your Xbox One stays stuck on the Xbox green loading screen, it's a hard drive related issue. We did a video on this again a couple of years ago. It's on our channel, you can go check it out. Then we're gonna lift out the disk drive. There's two cables that hold it in. Again, a power cable and a SATA cable. You're gonna lift them both out. If your disks aren't reading, you need to replace the disk drive, which is this unit right here. We did a dedicated video on this a couple of years ago and you can check out our channel for that. If you're getting the dirty disc error or your Xbox One's not reading games, you need to replace this component. But if you're replacing it, you need to replace the logic board inside. You need to keep your original logic board and put it in the new disc drive. Otherwise, it's not gonna work with your Xbox because the logic board in here is married to the motherboard and they don't like to be separated. Next, we're going to remove the power supply. We should be able to just lift it out at this point. All the screws have been removed. There's a clip underneath here on the plug. We're going to push the, we're going to press this tab on the clip with our pry tool that's included in the Fast Tech toolkit. We're going to push that clip down and then Pull out the connector, it's gonna come out. This is the power supply here. If your Xbox One isn't turning on, you need a new power supply. It could be the motherboard sometimes, sometimes it could be the RF and power button at the front, but most of the times, I'd say 70% of the times, if you're not getting any power, that means no beep from the Xbox, uh, no sound, no light at the front, that means you need a new power supply. And we did a video on this on our channel so you can go check that out if you're interested next we're going to remove the fan there's a plastic piece at the front we're going to get that out of the way it just lifts out it's got these ridges then we're going to remove the fan there's a connector on the fan we can pull it out like that wiggle and pull The fan is held in by these clips that hold on to the heat sink. We can lift them up with a knife. The fan should come off. If you get one side off, the other side's gonna come off automatically. And that's the Xbox One S fan. Lots of times, if your Xbox One is overheating, this is the first thing you need to look at. Sometimes these just fail because the coil dies in them. 
Uh, other times they get clogged with dust. So clean it, try to clean it out first. If that doesn't help, then you need to replace this fan. We did a video on this as well on our website. And again, we sell all these parts on our, on our website at fasttechstore.com if you need any of them. Now we're gonna take the motherboard out. There is a piece at the front here that holds the USB port in. We're gonna lift it up and remove it. Now that that piece is out of the way, we're gonna get the motherboard out. We're gonna grab it by the heat sink and it should just lift out like that. That's the Xbox One S motherboard right there. This is the center chassis for the Xbox One S. So that's our motherboard. That's the south bridge right there. These are the RAM chips. Under this heat sink is our APU chip. And that's what we're trying to get at. So we're gonna remove this heat sink to get to the APU chip. For this part, we're gonna get one of the flat heads out of our kit. I'm gonna grab this one. And we're gonna remove this X clamp. And to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert our screwdriver right here. And you're gonna gently lift it up. You wanna be very careful here because there's very sensitive components here you don't want to mess up. So you're going to pry it off gently like that. It's going to come off. Same thing here. And then once you get three of them off, the other one you can just lift up and the X clamps removed. Now the, the heat sink should come off. If it doesn't, you could just push down on the heat sink and it'll come off. And we're done, that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the like button. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel for more Xbox related content. And I'll catch you in the next one.